Almost all games can be categorized under a genre. Mario is a platformer, Zelda is an adventure, Pokemon's an RPG, and Fire Emblem and Xenoblade are JRPGs. However, one game featuring all these franchises and more is the genre. I'm of course talking about the phenomenon Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. has six entries in the series, counting Smash 3DS and Wii U as separate entries. I have so many thoughts and memories associated with each game. I couldn't just make a video covering only one game. We're doing every Smash game, baby! The first of the series, released on Nintendo 64, Super Smash Bros. brought together everyone's favorite video game franchises and Earthbound, all in one game. I first played this a long time ago, maybe when I was like five at my cousin's house. They had Nintendo 64 with Mario Kart, and of course, Smash. I don't remember much then, but I do remember the first time I owned it was back on the Wii Virtual Console. I already played Brawl by that time, so it just felt strange trying out this older entry. It's so odd replaying it nowadays because of the lack of moves you have. No aerial dodges, side specials, final smashes, and you can't turn off items?! I never really care about classic mode in a Smash game, but this is the OG. How are you not going to beat Master Hand with every character in the game? Come on! I would always play as Kirby and Link back then, because those were my two favorite characters in the game, despite never playing a Legend of Zelda game. Now whenever I play, my mains are Kirby and Pikachu, unsurprising since they are considered top tier for that entry. It is unfortunate that out of all the Smash games, this is probably the last one I'd play with friends. But that's only because of the mass variety of the other games. It was a great foundation for the series that still holds the test of time. <laughs> Melee to me is like a professional sport. It's fun to watch, it's fun to play, but it's hard as shit to even come close to being top tier. I will always remember watching clips on YouTube of six spikes, combos, and of course, the rages. I feel like I would have liked playing Melee more if I played it before Brawl. Now that I'm older, I can appreciate it more, but when I was a kid, why would I play a game with less characters, stages, modes, and I only had like one and a half GameCube controllers? Melee was a game I played just to unlock everything. Not a game that I played AND unlocked everything because of how much time I logged in. In fact, the only characters I never unlocked were Mewtwo and Mr. Game & Watch, only because you need to log over 200 hours to unlock them. On a side note, I entered a 17 and under melee tournament at my local library once, and I actually got to the semifinals as my main, Sheik. For a prize, I got a GameCube controller, which I honestly believe was the best prize there. Good times. My very first Smash game. I have so many memories playing this. The sideways Wii Remote, all items on, and stages that all moved and had hazards! What a time. The star of this show was the Subspace Emissary, which I'm pretty sure I've beaten about 15 times at this point. I took so many pictures, I made so many custom stages, and hell, I even did that dumb sticker page thing. I remember going to a friend's house and seeing he had Toon Link, Wolf, and Jigglypuff unlocked. Like, I didn't even know they were in the game! He was the same friend that tricked me into believing that Dr. Mario was in Brawl, and you unlocked him by being subspace on the hardest difficulty. Needless to say, I almost shit myself when I unlocked him for the first time in Melee without knowing he was actually in that game. Funny story, I actually got Melee as a prize for winning a 17 and under Brawl tournament at the same library. Even though I won, they were all out of prizes, since I gave them away to all the runner-ups, so I asked if I could have their copy of Melee the same one that I got to the semifinals in, and, well, I walked out of there with it, and a big grin on my face. Brawl wasn't the most competitive, but that's why I had so much fun with it. You got tired of losing? Just pick Midnight. Got tired of the stages? Well, just fucking make one yourself. It's this casual aspect that made Brawl a blast to play with anyone back then. Nowadays, I'd really only play for a single player, but damn, it's the best one in the whole series. There was a really long gap between Brawl and Smash 4. So long that the next games were made by fans. Super Smash Flash 2, Super Smash Bros. Crusade, and the star of the show, Project M. I spent hours and got many computer viruses just so I could homebrew my Wii to play Project M. It was that good. Now, I didn't care about the new gameplay changes or even the additions of Mewtwo and Roy. It was the customization that blew me away. 
I had so many different custom songs on custom stages where I would, of course, use a custom skin or even model. I loved the more crazy out of left field ones. I even did a whole series where I played through Subspace and Project M with all these mods attached on my gaming channel. Pepsi Man over Captain Falcon, as I fight Mr. Krabs over Wario on Great Bay from Melee with a remix of the Deku Palaces theme playing in the background. How unusually epic is that? I never really played Project M with others, mostly because it was just a pain to set up every time I turned it on. It was just easier to put in Brawl and just play that instead. Nevertheless, Project M is the Smash game that's always the freshest to revisit, just because of how many new mods I can download that I've never seen before. It's always updating and being worked on, despite being discontinued over five years ago. Ban the sea stick! That's, that's all you gotta do! do. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Dying! Did he just ah! taunt? I wasn't looking. Did he, he taunt, just taunt? He taunt, he taunt, he taunt, he taunt. I know why we lost. Because we didn't use our gun. Oh. That's what I was trying to do. Join. We were going to do the gun. We're going to do the gun. We got to do the gun combo. His, no, your gun doesn't work. His does. Because his free. He just. What? <laughs> Insta kill. Insta kill. The 3DS version was honestly a placeholder until the Wii U version came out. Uh, don't get me wrong, I played this game on the bus to school with friends and anywhere else I was out. But once Smash Wii U came out, that was the one to play the most characters, stages, and a working online. This was the game to finally stomp out Brawl. Even before the game came out, the journey leading up to it was an unforgettable experience. They would post a picture a day of something like a new assist trophy, a returning character, or stage anything. The cinematic trailers were also super epic. I remember watching ones like Rosalina, Pac-Man, Greninja, just absolutely clueless who it would be. This was the first Smash game I played online, and it actually worked pretty well during the one-on-ones with friends. Of course, the mode everyone remembers is For Glory. I would watch montages on YouTube of these sick kills, like the Ganon side, the Donkey Dong, and even Bayonetta's stupid-ass 14-count combos. Speaking of which, the Smash Fighter ballot was a thing. I remember who I voted for, Snivy. I wanted to cross a Squirrel and Ivysaur from Brawl, and I figured Snivy could fit that role perfectly. Of course, it's already an assist trophy, but who cares? Sky was the limit with that ballot. Smash Wii U didn't have much else to it, like a single player mode or whatnot, but its core gameplay was what I felt was the best in the series at the time. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was defined by one simple motto. Everyone is here. There is no argument. This is the best Smash game of all time. We are pushing 80 fighters at this point. The stage selection screen is massive, and I can basically draw whatever I want to make a custom stage actually look visually appealing. The Adventure Mode. It's so simple, yet so long, and has so much attention to detail. I love it. They have personalized classic mode now, which differs if you play two players. This game truly is ultimate. I mean, I wish I had more to say on this game, but really, it's perfect. As for the next character getting revealed, I don't care. I already got my dream girls in the game, so I'm satisfied. Super Smash Bros. isn't a party game, nor a fighting game. It's a Smash game. It is the genre, and it monopolizes it. To sum everything up, Melee is overrated. Stop clinging onto old gameplay mechanics and grow up. Brawl is the most fun to play, if you don't sweat at it. Project M was a blast to edit, and I loved modding Smash Wii U as well. And lastly, I will beat anyone as Donkey Kong or Kirby in Ultimate. Aw uh, yeah, I mean Kirby in almost every Smash game. Yeah, just deal with it.